What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 11 for my playthrough on Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way to the Alabaster Icelands and obtained Braviary as a rideable Pokemon. And in today's video, we're going to be facing off with the fifth and final noble Pokemon for this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Get on top of that. Hit that big red subscribe button and join the community. But before we head to the noble Pokemon, we need to craft some Pokeballs. Because we're low on that. We only have seven Pokeballs. Let me craft 21. And we have 26 great balls. That's not too bad. Do we have any potions? We got a few potions, few revives. I think we're chilling on that. I think we are chilling on that. So let's get after. So let me see on the map where I have to go towards. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We have to go right here, which is Ice Peak Arena. And I kind of want to pick up these... Uh, these little satchels there, because I'm going to need MP to actually evolve my boy Voltorb over here into his Suian Electrode. Because, you know, he needs a Leaf Stone, and you can use a 1,000 MP to actually obtain him. But you can also find Leaf Stones in Distortion Zones and all that good stuff. But it's a rare spawn, so I'm kind of just, like, banking on me getting MP. So let me collect some satchels and kind of go from there. But we actually got Braviary in the last episode, like I already mentioned. And he is just absolutely amazing. He's able to fly through all these lands and just make this game 10 times better. I feel like once you unlock Braviary, the game really takes, like, an extra jump. Because, like, yo, check this out. I can just switch to him right now, hop up on him, and say, yo, let's go to our next destination. But let me actually pin these, uh... Let me pin these satchels, just so I don't miss them. So, if you pin them like that, it'll leave a little flag on your map. So, you can actually go there. And Crobat should be right around here. Yeah, there's Crobat. He's right below me, dude. Crobat's such a sick Pokemon. So, if you guys are looking for him in your Pokedex, he flies around here. You have to hit him with a Jet Ball. And you actually get him from there. But let me dive down here. Go get them satchels before we actually get after this next battle. And, something else I forgot to mention in the last episode. We actually completed our lovely team. Check it out. We got Hisuian Typhlosion, Cleavor, Basque Legion. We got Roughfoot, which has to evolve into, uh... Hisui and Braviary at level 54. We got Sligo, which we already had. He's going to evolve into Gudra at level 50. And then we got Voltorb, which evolves into Hisui and Electrode at level... Actually, there is no level. Like I said, we need Leaf Stone for him. We need a lovely little Leaf Stone. But I'm going to dip down here. Isn't Blissey somewhere over here? We already caught Blissey, didn't we? Blissey actually spawns right here. I think we caught her in the last episode. Or we at least attempted to. Or we attempted to. But if we make our way down here, I can actually catch up on this, uh, this Abomasnail who I want. Of course, I throw that. Where are you, Abomasnail? I want you, dude. I want you. Where you at, big dog? That Pokemon sees me, but I know it's not this dude. Oh, hit that. Yes, sir. Big old back shot. We out of here. We are out of here. Let me get this, though. And, of course, he pops out. He pops out. There's a snow runch on there, which I, which I will catch. Now, can't go wrong with catching a snow runch, you know? Just easy XP. Something for the Pokedex. You guys know the deal. You guys know the deal. Oh, there's dust cops. I didn't want to hit this boy up. And, of course, he saw me. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to run around here, grab the satchels, catch a few Pokemon if I see him, but then we're going to face off with that Pokemon and then see what our next mission is. Because this noble Pokemon battle is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. But, yo, there's... Hey! There's the Blissey. I knew the Blissey was around here somewhere, which I really want to catch. So, you now let's feed up on the Blissey. Come here, Blissey. Hey! Toss that... Yo, chill! Chill on me. I'm trying to catch this Pokemon over here. Where's my Great Balls at? Here's my Great Balls. Let that thing eat up. Munching up, we'll hit it with a back shot, and we'll dip back. See if we can catch that thing. Because this little booger up here is annoying me. Please catch that. We did! And we didn't catch it in the last episode, which is awesome. And of course, y'all, I'm getting teed off on. And I forgot to put items away in my satchel. It's all good. We can still actually pick up these uh these lovely things. There's a Lickitung here, too, which I need to add to the decks. Yo, these things are annoying. These dust cops, get out my face. I'm not dealing with them. These things are so annoying. But I really do want this Lickitung. We gotta keep an eye out. Hopefully these guys don't hit me. Lickitung's chilling right here. I'm gonna toss that. And I'm gonna keep dipping. Because there's another Lickitung over here. Yo, chill. Catch that one, please. Thank you very much. There we go. Catch our first Lickitung, baby. I'll catch all three of these. Because this is such a cool Pokemon. Dude, those Dust Cops. Being a big burden. Being a big burden. There's another back shot for that one. And there's one more over here. Come here, baby. Look at that. Yo, two for two on Lickitungs. Let's make it three for three. Stay there. And bang. Hit him up. Now, where is that last... Uh, Looking for that last, uh... I'm gonna have to kill this thing, aren't I? Yeah, he's dead. I'm gonna... I'm looking for the last little satchel. And once I get that, we'll go face off with that, uh, final Nova Pokemon. It looks like we're not facing off with this dude. Dude's level 60! God dang! I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Level 60 Lickitung? God dang. God dang. Let's pull up that map. It is about to be daytime, it seems like. So, it's called Should. The Dust Cop Should Despawn. Should just spawn rather soon. Now, where is this satchel? Right over here. Cool. Of course, I gotta uh, I gotta heal up my Sligo, but we probably won't really be using it. There's a nice level AB Palm. Level little Pokemon. Here is the satchel. Chilling right here. So, we get that. 
we are thriving now. Now we can head towards the destination that we want to go, which is where's it at? That way. That way. Where's that AB palm at? I kinda wanna catch it. Where'd he go? He dipped. He definitely dipped. But there was another one over here which I'll which I'll try to snag. Which I'll try to snag for you guys. Hello, AB Palm. How you doing, sweetheart? Come here, little boy. He might be sleeping. I don't know. He was sitting down. We'll take that hit all day, see if we can catch him up. Dang it, dude. Okay. Mm, did we kill it? Ano Yo, another pussy spawn. It's pretty tough. This thing's gonna hit me, so you know I'm just trying to snipe this pussy. Of course. Of course. This thing gonna see me. All set. Bop him. See if we can catch it. I really don't feel like facing off with Sammy Palm. Catch that, please. Oh my god, yo, we caught two blizzies, yo. And look at the levels we get. We just got a crazy amount of levels. Just by blissy respawning. But from here, we're climbing a mountain. Pull out our Sneasler. Let's roll. Let's go to the feed off with that final level Pokemon. Yo, I didn't know Blissey respawns like that. I thought usually you have to leave the area and then it'll respawn. But yo, we take that all day because the XP you get from that is like 5,000. It's nuts. It's nutty. But we make our way up to the destination that we have to go to. Let's face out with the final Nibble Pokemon, which is going to be Avalon. Really, really cool Pokemon. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Like I've been saying, if you do, you should leave a like on today's video. And if you guys want to catch more content from me, I stream five plus days every single week. Name is right on the layout. Jeans25 on Twitch. Link is also down in the description below. So if you guys hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live, you can pop out there and say hey whenever you guys want. I love seeing you guys pop into the chat. Be like, yo, what up, Jeans? I love it so much. Really does make my day. Really does make my day. So if you guys are interested in more content, like I said, Head over to that Twitch page. Head over to that Twitch page. But we're here facing off with the final level Pokemon. And this battle is pretty nutty because this Hisuian Avalug is huge. Look at this thing, guys. This thing is massive. Like, what? How do you expect me to face off against that thing? How? Look at it. Lord of the Tundra Avalug. This thing is the side of a mountain. He is the size of a mountain. But it's a really cool battle, and probably one of the toughest ones so far, but I really do like the mechanics in it, so cannot wait to show off the battle and defeat this guy for you guys. But he's over here, we gotta throw the bombs like normal, and he's gonna do this little thing where he sprays these little, uh, these little snowballs, I guess, and you gotta dodge them. You could throw some bombs at the same time, but it is kind of tough, because you have to arc your bombs, and you can't really, uh, can't really, uh, mess up here, because then you'll get smoked by the ball. But once you dodge those few moves, you can throw a few bombs at him, do a few damage before he triggers his next thing, which is going to be these little pillars. And his moves get harder and harder every single time. And of course, see, I threw a bomb and I took a hit instead of not paying attention. So usually if you guys are playing cautiously, you kind of just want to wait for him to attack and then go from there. And god dang it, yo, he's sniping me. He is sniping me. And all you got to do is kind of run around. You can dodge a lot of the moves. But dude, this guy's teeing off on me already. A few hits he, he sent already. And here's his final thing. He does his beam, which you just gotta dodge over, and then bang, he's gonna be all burned out. And then he can actually throw out a Pokemon and face off with this dude. So I'm gonna throw out my Basket Legion. We're gonna get ripping up on this. And I think the only thing that's super effective to him is, uh, what's it called? Is ground moves. Oh, and water. Beautiful. So I got my Wave Crash here. What level is this thing on? 56? We are gonna take recoil damage to this. And I'm just gonna go with the normal shot here. See how much damage we could possibly do to it. Go in here with that, and bang. Big old damage. So good thing we didn't go for a strong shot. We are going to take some recoil. Let's see how much damage this boy does. Going to use Earth Power. Ouch. Soak this up all day, Basket Legion. I love you so much. And we're going to go for a strong style move just to try to uh, KO this thing and get a lot of shots. So going to have to keep my Basket Legion alive with potions and stuff because he is going to be the guy to do big damage on this bulky little Pokemon. Strong shot comes out. It takes him out. That is wonderful. Now let's get our bombs down and start teeing off as much damage as we possibly can onto this thing. Look at us. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Okay, so chip off a few damage. Let's heal up my boy. Because like I said, he's our he's our he's our go-to guy. Level 56, he's a high level too. He's a great level. He's a great level. So we heal him up there. Let's dodge the moves. And something I found out is your health does not regen in this uh in the boss battles. Which is pretty cool. I really do like it. So he's gonna do the snowball thing again. I'm just gonna pay attention because I really do not want to take hits. I'm just gonna do this the, the 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 better way, the way it's supposed to be done. We're gonna dodge his moves, let him do his snowballs, and then go from there. Run, baby, run. We're gonna run here. He's gonna shoot pillars, right? Pillars this turn. Yeah, he's gonna do pillars. He's gonna do that, and then the next wave's gonna come. We're gonna dodge this way. Another wave's gonna come. Now I'm gonna sneak some shots in here. Look at that. Two little bombs, and now he's going to do this thing where he throws the snowballs, and all you gotta do is run around. Run left or right, I should say, to dodge. Don't run up and down. Left and right is the way to go for that. But dude, we are getting teed off on actually. So we have to be we have to be on our A game now. He's gonna do his laser beam. We're gonna jump over it and roll. 
And we're gonna throw out our Bash Collegiate to actually fight this thing yet again. Come on, baby. Run it up. Run it up. All day, yo. I'm ready to go. I'm feeling good. Use your chance, show Avalon your power. Good thing we do outspeed this thing, so I'm just gonna go for a regular wave crash. Yeah, regular wave crash is the way. Because I don't want to go for a strong move right off the rip and waste a turn. So there's that. I don't know if a strong power shot can actually take that out. We're gonna be cutting it close here. Earth power's gonna fly through here. Basically, you're taking some big damage. Big old damage. Uh, can we go for an agile here? We can. So we're gonna go for an agile shot here and then a strong style. Knock that thing down and keep hitting it with the bombs. So solid, dude. Like I said, yo, this battle is phenomenal. I love battling him. So we're gonna take some recoil damage and then we're just gonna switch to that strong style. And dang, yo, uh, Basket is actually running out of PP for his move. It's kind of tough, kind of tough. We only have three left, so which means we can take him out one more time. But hopefully by then we can actually uh, have him down to a good number here. Let's keep throwing our bombs. We should get him down to half here, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Try to sneak an extra bomb in there and now let's heal up our lovely little boy. I'll go here. I'll actually use two of these. Two of these, and we'll be thriving. Okay. So, ch -ch -ch -ch, let's roll out. Let's roll out from here. So, he's going to do his little snowball thing again. We have him down below half. So, this time, his moves are all going to change. They're going to be like the same premise, but a lot quicker and a lot harder to dodge. So, he's going to do his snowballs, and he might do them a little bit longer. So, look at that. He does this now. He adds on an ice pillar. So, you got to kind of stay back now. You kind of want to stay back and let the ice pillar do its work kind of dip here so this uh, allows him to not get hit by any bombs kind of because we're too far back to even throw him at this point so from here he's going to do his little ice pillar thing again he's going to send him that way but look at this yo so just stay back and he should be fine here and it's going to leave an extra spike so like i said yo, if you stay back you should be thriving here. he's going to shoot his little his little balls in the air just keep running back and forth chill on me man of course yo i got stuck on this little little thing but i'm one hit to dying here I'm one hit to dying, yo. I swear, yo. If I die, I'm gonna cry a little bit. He's gonna leave those spikes on the field. You really don't want to get touched by it. And what we want to do is dodge him again. Jump. There we go. And we're gonna pull out our basket legion. Let's go back another layer. No, he doesn't. Cool. All right. So we cannot take a hit in the next one. If we do, we die. If we do, we die. That can be really tough for us. So in order for us to win this, oh, we only have two shots left. I'm just gonna go for a strong style move then. I am just gonna go for a strong style shot here. So much damage we can do that. Beal, more than half, beautiful. We just had to survive hits. Now we go for another strong style shot to uh, bring its HP all the way down. So not bad so far, basically. But this dude might get two turns here. He might get two turns. He does indeed. Two turns, he's teeing off. He might get three, switching to agile style. He does not. Cool. And I forgot. That's whack. That is super whack. But the what's it called actually does uh takes two PP. It's a strong style move. So strong style, really, really good. We did get a lot of value out of this basket region, so I'm super hyped for that. And yo, we just got a crit anyway. Why do we do so much damage there? Special attacking? Probably. Should have been using that the whole time. God dang, that did so much damage. Let's keep teeing off on this thing. Keep throwing our bombs. See if we can hit him. He dips back a little bit, and we cannot take another hit here. So let's do it. Let's do it. He's going to rinse repeat and do that same thing. And we're going to try to sneak in a few shots here, to be honest with you. Actually, we cannot from this distance. No shot. Let me heal up the basket region. Let me heal up my boy, because we're going to have to face off with him one more time. One more time in order to defeat him. And hopefully, just hopefully, we don't get hit by any of these moves. But I'm not going to lie, dude. That thing's laser has been smoking me. Every time he pulls out like the really fast meteorite snowball things, been plowing me with them. Really has been just dumping on me. So hopefully we don't die here and we can just get rolling with this battle. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for the pillars, and the pillars are a pain. Pillars are an absolute pain. Look at him. He's just sniping me, dude. Chill on me. He's going to go for the fireball here. Here he comes. Dip this way. 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 Should have turned back. I should have turned back. So, guys, we're about back at the same position I was at. This guy has a little bit more HP than where we left off or where we died last time. But we're dipping, we're dodging, we're getting right after this dude again. Look at me, yo. Oh, come on, yo. I keep getting smoked by those things. I keep getting smoked by those things, but we're chilling. We just restarted the battle. We dominated him up. He's about to use his little move again, which I'm just going to hop over. And then we're going to send out my boy Basket Legion to tee off on this dude. Where's my boy Basket Legion? Actually, I should heal him up. I should heal up my Basket Legion. Let's give him a nice, lovely uh, super potion. We are low on him, considering we used a bunch on the last one. But we have regular potions, so we're going to thrive up on them. We're going to do this, and we might be able to take him out right here. Because we had him super, super low. Oh, dang, I threw out the wrong thing. Give me my Pokemon out there. 
I threw a bomb at him, <laughs> which which is fine. We'll do a little bit more damage to him. But something that I found out is like this thing is super super bulky defensively, so Shadow Ball actually does just as much damage as a Wave Crash. Look at this. Look at that. Nice little special attacking shot. Big old damage for the Bash Collegian. This thing's gonna switch to its uh, Agile style and tee off on my Bash Collegian, which he's pretty bulky, dude. My Bash Collegian is pretty bulky. We're level 56. Look how much HP he has. 279. Come on, can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. We're gonna throw one last Shadow Ball at this thing and maybe, just maybe, be able to take this thing out with bombs. We'll see. If not, we're kind of close, dude. We are kind of super close. Look at that damage. That damage. Keep throwing. Keep throwing. Do we just keep going? He's going to dip back a little bit. So we have to get some arc shots on this. We're going to see how many times I can hit him. But he's going to do his move. And we're going to see if we can take him out with just bombs here. Whenever we get the chance. So what I want to do is actually get up super close if I can. I don't know if I can. No, I cannot get up super close. He has his little icicle spears doing that. Doing his little thing, stabbing up. So I want to get up close to try and throw out some extra shots here. I'm going to try to sneak up here. Get him. Get him. Here comes his little icicles. Oh, we throw him bombs. We're able to hit him. Dip, dip, dip. Oh, yo, look at that dodge. Look at that dodge for the win. We slid right through those icicles, and there it is. We don't even have to throw out a Pokemon again to finish this thing off. And there it is. Last bomb. Smack up on this giant glacier of a Pokemon to give us the big old victory royale there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And, dude, he just looks amazing. That look just looks so cool. Look at him. He looks so sick. But, dude, he's huge for no reason. That's great. All my Pokemon get 6,000 XP. Except for my boy right there. You see that? Why are they only give Voltorb 5,000? That's got to be. They, 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 that's got to be messed up, right? What, are they racist against Voltorbs? What, what is that about? Give him 5,000 everyone else gets 6,000? Get out of my face, yo. My Voltorb deserves the world. He deserves the world. But there it is. A bunch of people get levels. And I think we can evolve our Sligu, which could be beautiful. Which could be beautiful. And maybe our Rowlet. What levels are Rowlet on? I didn't even get to see. There we go. Take him out. And i kind of forgetting what we have to do next for the main mission. Because we're done all the noble Pokemon now. I think we just have to head towards the end. Which is pretty dope. Which is pretty dope. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So we're almost done with the main story. We are almost done with this main story. Which is awesome. But the whole clan comes here. We got Arita, the Pearl Clan leader. We got, uh, I forget the, uh, Adamant, the Diamond Clan leader. And then we got, uh, what's that chick's name again? That gave us Brave Yari. I forget her name. I can't think of it. It's like a four-letter name. Soli? No, 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 no. It's something, like, just quick. And I think it starts with an S. Hopefully she'll speak so I can, like, read her name. Of course she doesn't. She just comes to hang out and stand there. But there it is. Defeat the Slumbering Lord. Now we can go back to Commander Kamado. And tell him that we finished up the mission. But before we actually go there, I kind of want to explore this area a little bit more. Collect some new Pokemon and kind of just go from there. And I got to get more resources. Hands down. Okay, some Bergmites here. Chilling on the field. Is there any area that we haven't explored here yet? We explored everywhere, which is great. Kind of hoping a, uh, what is it? A time distortion kind of forms. I'm really hoping a time distortion can form. But let's see the levels of our Pokemon. So he goes level 49 and he will evolve into Gudra in the rain. It has to be raining, so... It has to be level 50 and it has to be raining. Uh, you need three more levels. Maybe we can get that today. That could be worth it. We'll see. We'll see. But in the meantime, we're going to catch some Pokemon. We're going to work after that. Get some XP. Keep going towards the Pokedex. So, Bergmite, come here, little boy. Slap up on him. Bergmite's kind of funny looking. See if we can catch him. Nope, did not catch him. You, Bergmite, want to be caught? Nope, we miss him. And of course, he sees us. Nothing I hate more than that is. Oh. We probably can't catch that thing yet. That thing's tough. But nothing I hate more than, uh, about when you're about to catch a Pokemon and then he sees you and then you can't throw anything at him. Yo, chill on me. You ice shard on me. I want to see if I can catch this thing. Dude, he's yoked. Look at this dude's back muscles. Dude's yoked. Can I catch him? I don't think I can. Let's see if I can. I like... See? No, we cannot. But I'll still hit him with a Pokemon. I'll still hit him with a Pokemon. We'll go over here and catch his little brother, Machoke. But yeah, we can't catch him right now. We'll catch his Machoke, though. Get all that XP. I don't know if we caught him Machoke yet. We shall see. You know, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Yo, beautiful. Beautiful. I love when that happens. When you're about to go catch a Pokemon and the thing just goes to sleep, it's just a free catch. Look at this. How you doing, little boy? Oh, uh, Slap up on him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What? He still don't see us, though. Snipe. Just doming in the head. You know what? That's it. Bringing out my Rufflin on you. Run it up, Rufflin. I'll kill this thing all day. I want the XP. 
I want all the XP. But yo, why did this thing not say that Pokeball? That's kind of whack, right? It's definitely whack. Well, let's see how much damage my Ruffle can do. Ruffle's a beast, yo. Ruffle plays no games. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This thing hits really, really hard. For no reason. He hits like an absolute truck. He hits super, super hard. Let's get this. Gather all the materials that we can. And that was so stupid. Like, the the catch rate was like bright green, which means it's like almost a guaranteed catch. And we hit with a back shot to even increase that more. And it was just like, nah, yo, you ain't catching him. You're not allowed to. What's over here? What do we got chilling over here? Look at the... Can we catch that Lucario? I wonder. Snowfall Hot Spring. That Lucario just dip? Where did that Lucario go? Oh, no, he's right here. <gasps> I can't... What? What? He's invisible. He's dead. Kill it. Kill it. Why is he going invisible? Run it up. I did not know Lucario could spawn here. That is so sick. Run it up. I'm going to try to catch it. Uh, we'll hit this thing with a Infernal Parade. I love this move so much. It's Suey and Typhoon's signature move. We're going to hit it with that. Bring down the yellow. And this thing's going to try to hit me with a fighting move. Get out my face. Get out my face. And you know what? We catching this bad boy. We catching this bad boy. I know Rylu does spawn in this area. I think it's like uh, one of the paths that we were on. But it's like a rare spawn. But I did not know Lucario pops out here. That's so sick. I saw it. I was just like, maybe it's like a Pokemon that you can talk to. Because you know, in some games, you can talk to a few Pokemon. They make noises and all that. Nah, yo. This boy was just chilling in Hot Spring. Then went invisible. Let's not forget about that. That boy went invisible. What is that about? What was that about? Went invisible on me. I was like, where'd he go? And then came out here and tried fighting me. So he's going to keep teeing off on damage on me. And you know what? He's going to kill me with that. I was going to use a, an agile move. To try to not kill it. Well, let's see who we can go into. We could go into a, go into Cleaver here, but I feel like Cleaver can kill it. Cleaver just does too much damage. Uh, Sligu. I kind of like Sligu here. I don't think Sligu is gonna kill it with an Iron Head. No shot, right? But if this thing does hit me with a close combat, we're 100% dead. We're dead all day. He goes for Dragon Pulse right off the rip. We can soak that up because you know we Steel type. And I'm just gonna go straight for an Iron Head. Iron Head, build him up. Beautiful damage, Sligu. That's exactly what I wanted there. That is exactly what I wanted out of Sligo. So we chip up, we bring that thing down to red. So great boy, yo. Give me this lovely little Pokemon. Give me this lovely little Pokemon. Let me get it, baby. All day. All day long. Catch it. Dude, come on, Lucario. We gotta start crafting some Ultra Balls. We have to start crafting them Ultra Balls. Yo, look at this dude. Boost his hats later, Sligo. This thing's gonna wipe out my team if we don't catch it. <laughs> if we don't catch it, he's gonna wipe out my team. I'm throwing out Bastion Legion. Just to place fear in his eyes. Like, look at this thing. He's so sick. That's why I love this Pokemon. So sick. Oh, yo, why you turn your back on me, dog? What's that about? What is that about? But another great ball. Come on, yo. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for this one. Ball Lucario. There it is, yo. The fingers crossed always works. Every single time. And there's a brand new Pokemon towards the Pokedex. We get Grit Dust. We get some Iron Dust. That's beautiful. And we're going to try to catch this little Lickitung chilling here. Look at him just chilling at the hot spring. Smoking my dad. Badiri's having a good old time. It's a little too cold out for the Badiri, so they're chilling in the hot spring. Yo, I did not know he spawns there. I love it. I love it. And if you guys were looking for Rylu, he spawns kind of like over near these icebound falls. Which we're gonna start head we're gonna actually head towards. We are gonna start heading towards that way. As we make our way back towards the uh, the Jubilee City camp. So we can go report our mission to Kabato. But we're thriving here. I love all the new Pokemon that we caught. And I kinda wanna see if Wissy spawned again. Because again, if Blissey spawns, yo, that XP is ridiculous. And I think it spawns right here, right? It's one of these rocks. Blissey, where do you spawn at, sweetheart? Might be over this way. Somewhere along this pathway, but we might have missed it. We have might have missed it. I kind of want to go down in this hole because, you know, the boys of Roar actually spawns here. And what is that down there? Oh, it's a dust skull. Dust skull. Oh, there's dude, the... Bro. Bro, like, I gotta catch it. That, this thing gives you a ton of XP too. Chansey, I don't think I have one in my Pokedex for this game. Let's, let's give it a let's give it a nice lovely orb right here. Where are my great balls at? My great balls are going right towards this Pokemon. Come here, pussy. Where this one's Chansey. Launching up, back shot, and I don't think we got that one yet. So hopefully we can catch it. We'll hide behind the tree just in case it pops out. And of course it pops out. What you mean? Give me a uh, you're definitely a honey kind of gal. Want some honey, Chansey? Don't hit it. I thought I was gonna smoke that thing. Back to my great balls. Eat up. Eat up. 
No, I guess I'm throwing you that. Launch it up again, and we'll smoke that thing with a ball. There we go. We just keep feeding this thing. This thing's hungry. Pop out, please. Or not pop out. Stay in. Lovely. Lovely. 3,000 XP. Oh, my. No, if you guys want to XP farm, I'm actually going to make a guide on that soon about XP farm. Blissey's a great way to go. And I'm pretty sure that there's a... Uh, I think the best way to do it is go after there's an alpha Blissey. That gives you a ridiculous amount of HP. Well, not HP. XP. So there's another one. Is this one sleeping? Oh, she's, she's knocked. She's slumped. She's slumped. All right. We're, oh, there's a Apom a slump too. So you know what? I'm going to hit this thing and I'm going to do a quick turn. This. I'm going to do this. See if we get a double catch here. Both slumped. A palm, of course, pops out here. Uh, but at least we catch that Blissey, yo. Blissey with over 5,000 XP. Yeah, I love it. We're going to feed this little monkey because I don't... Oh, you got to love bananas, right? You got to love... That's got to be his favorite food, right? You cannot have a monkey in this game and not have bananas be his favorite food. Eat up. <laughs> Smack that thing with a great ball. Catch it, please. What? Do I kill it? You're dead. We're killing it. Kill this monkey. Giving it bananas and it doesn't want to be my friend. Level 60. God dang. God dang. Level 60. I think we got close combat on this dude. We do. Run it up. Sorry, Apom. Had to. Later, punk. Later. Dude, Cleaver just hits way too hard. He really does. We'll take that all day. That's a big XP there, too. 54. 54, which is a wonderful number. And I don't really think we have a lot of Duskull, so. Might as well catch one of them. One or two of them. That's all we need. That's all we need. Let's switch over to my Pokeballs because we are low on Pokeballs. Man. I just crafted some. <laughs> I just crafted some. Do not see me. It's an awful throw. He's going to see me. That's a beautiful throw. You know what screw this. I'm out of here. There's more Dust Skulls here. Actually, this one might see me. He does. I'm out of here. Yo, I'm dipping. Brave you right, Let's roll. Let's go right back to Jubilee City. <laughs> We go right back, but of course, you know, your boy has to take the long way just in case we see any more Pokemon that we want to catch. Like this Amy Palm and Hop off, yo. Hop off. Yeah. Up off. Thank you. Hey, Palm, you don't see me. I know you don't see me. I know you don't see me. Where are my bananas at? My nab nab berries. These are not berries. These are bananas. These are lovely bananas. We're going to give this boy one. Where's my great balls at? Look at that toss. That's a heck of a toss. My great balls at. There you go. Eat up, buddy. Eat up, little no, little monkey. That's not yours. That is not yours. We're gonna hit him. There's another Amy Palm. I don't know if we caught one yet. I've been trying to. Catch it again. I'll throw it. I'll keep throwing these Pokeballs at until we catch it. There it is. Oh, and we caught three of them already. So that's beautiful. Hit my boy, and of course he sees me. How's he spot me like that? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. All right, onward. Swine up. Dust cops. Uh, where's my Pokeballs at? I guess we'll throw a few Pokeballs at these dudes. Chill. I just hear Pokemon. Yo. Who's? Yo, it was you. Bomb wow, is so teen off of me. All the way from back there. I'm just going gonna, gonna to make my way through this cave right here. You know what? I think it would be better to actually just uh, ride on my deer. My lovely little weird deer. Make things go a bit quicker. And Rylu spawns like somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he does. Which is cool. Maybe we'll find him. Maybe we won't. But we found Lucario today. Which I'm super, super excited about. So I know a lot of people are probably looking for Lucario. So if you are, he's right there. He's just chilling right there. But choke central here. I thought I just heard a Rylu. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought I just heard a Rylu. He spawns like over towards his grass, right? Yep, there he is. There's the boy. Rylu, how you doing, sweetheart? How you doing? I believe the, the Crobat's right above us. How you doing, Rylu? Oh, thank you for turning your back. Thank you so much for turning your back. Give me that catch. Give me that catch. All day, baby. Add him to the decks. Add him to the decks. And do we have any drip balls on us? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Which kind of stinks, but we're just going to take the old Braviary Express up here. And of course, I'm taking some mean fall damage. Hey, get up there. Get up there. I just want all this uh material here. You know, the more material, the better. The more material, the better. We'll do this. There's Crobat just chilling up there. Like I said, you need jet balls, feather balls, just a high flying ball to catch that thing. If not, you're not going to be able to catch it with a Pokeball because it doesn't fly far enough. Hop up here again, and let's get rolling. Let's get moving. Hello, Crobat. How you doing, little buddy? And actually, I kind of want to see if we can catch this thing. I kind of want to go for at least one throw. 
Let's do it. Let's do it, yo. Oh, bad. Chilled here, looking all good. Come here, dude. Uh, like, come here, dude. This dude's a pain to catch. Even with feather balls. Just a pain. If I snipe this thing, I'm a god. Right here. No, no shot. No shot. We out of here. I ain't even playing around. And I don't think I ever went down this way. What is this way? Oh, because you can't. That's why I never went down that way. Because you're not allowed to. Because you're not allowed to. But we're super close to being back to the beginning. I couldn't just fast travel. But it's cooler to actually just like traverse through the lanes because you can see some cool Pokemon in the meantime. See if we can cruise over this thing. Yes, we can. And we'll dip straight down. Yes, yeah, sir. Run it up. Got some more A-Poms. We thrive, though. We have plenty of those little Pokemon. Go to Leviton right here. Cash it all over Pokemon and see what, how much Poke Dollars we get. Alongside with all the Pokemon we caught. Three Blissies, dude. I didn't know they spawned that frequently. Look at that, yo. Snow Run, Swine Ups, Pill, Pill Swines. Glalies, Hisuian Zoruru, which I forgot we call it. We got a Rufflet. We also got Lucario. Oh my god. Abras, Snovers, Abomasos, Rolls. It's a good group of Pokemon right there. It's a good group of Pokemon. $21,000. That is a great set of dollars. And let's see how many points we actually get. Let's see. Oh, we completed a few research stuff. Still open. How many? A thousand? Woo! 17 Hundo, baby! 17 Hundo. And we defeated Lord Ab. So we're heading back to Jubilee City. We gotta go hand in our quest with Commander Kamado. Make it simple, make it easy. And I kinda gotta I gotta find a place where it is raining at. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. I would love to find that. I would love to find a place where it's raining at. So let's go over here. And actually I don't know. I'll explain later. I'll explain later. But I'm thinking if we uh if we trigger this cutscene. I'm not too sure, but if we trigger this cutscene, I don't think it can rain anymore. I think the weather will be neutral until you actually beat the next mission. So we'll see. This is what happened in my main playthrough, but if it if it is, we'll just rock out with Sligo for the final mission. But if not, we're thriving. It's all good. There's no big worries there. Because you know, Sligo hits hard enough on itself, but we make our way back to Commander Kamado. We're, we're like, hey, yo, Gene just defeated the giant ice creature. That big glacier. Yeah, you didn't tell me that thing was a mountain size, but we defeated it anyway. Somehow. I don't know how, but we take it all day. We take it all day. He's going to go say, hey, yo, nourish at the Wallflower and meet me back here. The Wallflower, dude, every single mission. Why do they make it like this? Why do they make it like every single mission? We have to go to the Wallflower. Like, it's every single time. Where's eating here? Me, Akari, and Professor Leviton. Bunch it up. Hopefully, they're paying the bills because, you know, I'm out here exploring the world. But I probably have the most money because, you know, I catch a lot of Pokemon. Actually, Leviton probably has the most money because he's giving me the money. This dude's got to have bank. Dude's gotta be a rich little professor. He's the only professor in town, too. Like, he's gotta be getting paid thousands of dollars to do it. Thousands of beans. But, like I said, Commander pops us out here. He's just like, yo, jeez, go eat. We'll talk about it anymore. So it's kind of just like a way to uh, trigger another cutscene. So we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna eat at the Wallflower. Then when we pop back out here, Commander Kamado's gonna be like, hey, yo, we got another mission for you. There's something that we want you to do. And I believe we're getting very, very close to actually finishing up the main story and heading towards the post game. The post game is so much fun. This game, you can catch legendaries, do all post game missions, do side missions, do all that good stuff. It's just super, super good all around. But a big bang comes in here. Bakum, it said instead of Baboom, it said Bakum. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. And we have this Ash Lumen, and this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, I think weather goes neutral in this state right here. So once this mission hits. You go outside, and I think weather is absolutely neutral. So we cannot evolve Gudra until we beat this main mission. Which kind of buns. It's kind of buns. But, dude, I'm so stuffy, man. You guys see me wiping my nose and everything. I'm so stuffy. But look at the sky. It's kind of like how in uh, Diamond and Pearl, if you guys ever played that game, uh, the Algae and Palkia is just, like, ruining the sky or have a distortion zone kind of going on the whole planet. But the rift is acting different. This is the time, now that we get the main mission, where we can finally go towards that rift in Mount Coronet, which is really, really cool. It's cool. Like I said, we're, we're towards the final end of the uh, game. So it's really, really nice for us. So Commander Commando's up there. He's like, dude, that's getting bad. Let me send Jeans over there because, you know, Jeans has to do all my dirty work. He has to do every single one of my dirty work. Levinson says, hey, yo, there's some dreadful energy. It's all good. Sign leads over here. I got a word from the commander. You are to report to his office. God dang it, man. God dang it. We got to report to his office. Hmm. The way the sky changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us in to discuss a quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? Yeah, I defeat all the nobles. 
I defeat all moons. The first strike of the strange lightning is the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. Struck the night that jeans fell from the sky, did it not? So this guy starts talking a little weird here. This guy's getting all mad at us. He thinks that we're the reason all the bad stuff's happening. This is one of the wackest things ever. I'm not even gonna lie. So he, he blames us for defeating the noble Pokemon and causing this rift to happen. Which is super, super stupid. You guys are gonna see what he's gonna do. Which is kind of... It, it's stupid. It is stupid what he does to us. But for the people that, uh... I haven't beaten it yet. You guys are about to see. But for the people that did beat it, I think all of us had the same reaction to it, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> which is hilarious. This dude's blaming us for all the bad that's happening over in the land because we fell from the sky. Because he doesn't know where we're from. Really, really stupid. Really dumb. Really lame. And he's like, "Hey yo, Silene, you gotta kick Jeans out of the village." So he kicks us out of the village. How dare this guy kick us out of the village? And we have to take a walk of shame, which is ridiculous. It's actually kind of funny that they make us take a walk of shame. Kicks us out of the village. You are to be expelled from the village? Yeah. Orders are orders. So they order me to leave. And they have Silene walk me out, which is ridiculous. And she says, let's go. But this is the worst part right here. We cannot run. We have to do a walk of shame. Like this slow walk out of the village. And it's so whack that they're kicking us out of here. Because... We just saved basically everything. We defeat five Pokemon the size of houses. Come on, yo. We did everything this guy asked for, and now we just like, get out of my village. You're the problems of everything. Nah, yo, I'm saving everybody. I'm saving everybody. He just decides to say, hey, yo, get on out of my village. Boots me out of here, and silently, I have to take the walk of shame with her. How you doing, lady? No, I should just kick her leg out. Steal a few, steal a few cakes and leave the village on my own with a frenzy of foods. <laughs> Get out of my face, though. Kicking me out of the village. We can take it from here, man. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger to the member of the survey corps. It is the only right thing I should personally escort him from the village and to the field land camps. So should they just throw us out into the wild? Get out of here. Get out of here. Whack, whack, super whack. Super, super whack. Alright, so we get expelled from the village. We're actually not allowed back. We're not allowed back. Until we beat the mission. <laughs> Until we beat the main mission now. So, it's kind of stupid how they don't give you a chance to, like, gather stuff and then leave. Like, craft recipes. Maybe, like, get some stuff in there. Because there's a lot to do. You can train your Pokemon. You can use MP. You can do a lot of different things. Before actually going on to this main mission. Because this next main mission is kind of tough. And it's a big part of the story. It's actually a huge part of the story. So... It's kind of stupid how they don't let you do all that stuff. But you can still craft here. You can still sleep up. You can still do all those other things in the meantime. But like I said, they should have definitely been able to uh, allow you to go and like do other things in the village before you leave. You know what I'm saying? Definitely should have been able to do that. Definitely should have been able to do that. But Silene over here, she's like, AO jeans. You're out of the village, but we have another mission for you to do. Which is stupid. Which is stupid. They're like, hey, we have another mission for you to do, but you can't. But you, ugh, it's just stupid. It is just lame. It's just lame. And there's actually two areas that I haven't visited in this place yet. Which I'm gonna go to now. Which I'm gonna go to now and then go trigger that final mission. So we're gonna do that. Are my Pokemon healed up? They are indeed. They are indeed. Let's switch over to our Braviary. Let's get rolling here. And yo, I got a little battery. You guys already know. You guys already know Jeans keeps it on him at all times. Jeans keeps it on him at all times. Little charger. All times it is plugged in. We thrive in it. We are sitting in a pretty spot. We're thriving. But I want to head to those areas that I haven't explored yet. So it's this little island over here. Maybe there's a new Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. And then it was the end island over on that left side. Which I know there's a cool alpha over there that we can might maybe be able to catch at this time. So let's see. Any Pokemon over here? I feel like Gastron just spawns here, right? But it is night time. What we got here? A pump. That's it. That's it. Did I, did I get it on the map? I got it on the map. So lame, just a pile. Maybe, maybe a uh, different time of day. But the other zone, other map that we didn't export is right up here, which I'm just gonna go check it out, see if there's any new Pokemon in the meantime. Go from there. But yo, know, an alpha, an alpha shellos, dude. An alpha shellos, really, really cool. Really, really cool. Chimchar and Inferno spawn over there. Nope. And over here, there should be an alpha Lopunny. But near is such second stage. Let's see if it's spawned. Let's see if it's over here. It's, oh, look at all the Baneries. Lopunny's gotta be nearby, right? Where's she at? No, there she is. Baneeries, yo, what's goody? 
Good old Baneeries. Can't go wrong with it. And we'll see if we can actually catch this Pokemon. And I should have crafted more Pokemon. Where are my Pokeballs at? Did we catch you? We can indeed. No, we cannot. There's an X on her. God dang it. We out of here. I'm out of here. Cannot catch the little bunny. Let's dip over here and see if there's any new Pokemon on our way towards that mansion. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. More Baneeries. Tons of Baneeries. Tons of Baneeries. What is this right here? Combies. Oh, I'll catch a few combies. You can't go wrong with a few combies. I love me some combies. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Combi's hilarious. Like that. I think we already have combi in our Pokedex, but still. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Yep, there's uh, lucky number four. And of course, that one is uh, the bit out on us, but we're chilling. Onward, jeans. Onward. Uses the bird. I kind of want I kind of want this stuff right here. kind of want all this Tumblestone, because you know, Tumblestone is actually... It goes by quick when you're crafting a bunch of Pokeballs. It really does. So, like, having as much Tumblestone as you can get really goes a long way. Tumblestone, there's one more up here, right? There we go. Lucky number three. I'm gonna switch to my deer because we're at a flat terrain. The deer would be the best thing to actually traverse this land. Got a beauty fly, cascoon, wormple. Anything else cool? Any shinies? We already find it, found a shiny Bidoof in this game, which I love. I thought that was sick. It's episode two, yo. So if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go check out the shiny Bidoof for catch. It's really cool. It's really cool. But we make our way over here towards the main mission. And where's she? Where is she? she should be straight up here. Yep. Just chilling right here. I'm going to hit the shrimp, sprint button. And we're going to talk talk her up. Lianne, Leanne, what's her name? Hello. How you doing, sweetheart? How are you doing? Look at the size of that rift. Yeah, I know, dude. You should do something about it. You should let me stay home and not do anything about it. And just chill and play in the wild area. While you, while you go finish up the, with the rift. Now, we're asking this person for help over here because he's been here for the uh, beginning of the game. Is it a boy or is it a girl? It looks like both. I don't looks like both. But there we go. Now we have to go seek out Mai, which is uh, should be over here. Yep, over at the Warren Bridge. So, you know, let's pull out our lovely, the best rideable Pokemon in the game, Braviary. And we can just cruise on over. Look how much distance we're going to cover here. So much distance we're going to cover. And I believe it's not on a mountain, so I think we can just kind of just keep going this way. Like, look how quick we just traverse through this lane. Instantly. Instantly across the water. Almost 500 steps. We actually might get to 500 steps here. The bird, dude. The bird's cruising. Dude's zooming. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, dude, we cruised right on over to it. We're going to have to climb a little bit because we're going to hit this rock. But we're here. And there's much lags, which I still haven't even obtained in my main game. And I caught, like, over 200 Pokemon in that game. There's my girl. Hey, Mai. How you doing, baby? How you doing? We're asking her for help again. Blah, blah, blah. Do this. Bibbidi, bobby, boobidi, bobby. And then she's going to send us to a whole other spot. Where it's just like, okay, jeez. I'm going to help you out. Go over here. Go do that. So what she wants us to do, I think it's head to the Diamond Clan, right? Is that what she wants us to do? Head to the Diamond Clan? Or does she send us to a certain spot, I think? she sends us over to the spot. Look at this cool cutscene. That's such a cool background right there. With the waterfall there. It's looking purdy. Looking real purdy. Looking real purdy. Kerr? Is that Munchlax? Oh, it's Sphinx. I love that little Pokemon. I love that little Pokemon. Super, super cool. Hello, little buddy. Oh, he puts a smile on her face. He puts a smile on the face. I think he just tackles us in the water. Oh, and he brought his boys. He brought his dogs, yo. His little Luxio pals. I like how that Sphinx is calling the shots. Luxios are a higher evolution, but Sphinx is calling the shots right there. He's calling all the shots here. Come back, and our boy Volo is still on our side, dude. What's up, Volo? My man. My man. Found you at last, Jeans. What's up, dog? I've been looking all over for you, you know? What would I do if I would lose my favorite customer? I know. I pretty much keep the student in business. Pretty much keep the student in business. Seems like you're in quite a pinch. Don't worry. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to help us out, too. So we got all these people to help us out. Now we can actually start moving on with that main mission. I believe Volo is going to bring us to a secret. I wouldn't say a secret area, but a certain area right here. Right? Yeah. It's really not a secret area, but you cannot go here until uh, after you get to this point in the game. It's just like a random area with a brand new uh, character in there. Let's speak to the person who dwells on the retreat. 
this lady is going to help us out throughout the post game. actually. She really helps us uh, out here with catching legendaries, with uh, completing the final mission. She's all over the place in postgame, and her name is Kagita. Kogita? Right? Kagita, Kogita, however you pronounce it, either or. So she's here. She's like, yo, G, I got your back here. I'm going to help you collect all the plates for Arceus, and we're going to get after this, and we're going to get through this. But first, come on inside. I got to tell you something. All right, old lady, I'll come inside. But she got a pretty dope palace, yo. Look at that. Looks very comfortable. That looks like a place you could just chill, watch TV, play some Legend Arceus in. Like, dude, this place looks so nice. Doesn't it look so comfy in there? It really does. It really does. But she tells us that we actually have to start catching legendaries at this, which is absolutely Actually, do we have to start catching legendaries? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. But she says you have to go get the red chain. Which the red chain is located at one of the lakes. Lovely red chain. But do we have to catch the legendaries? I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little confused. At one of these points, we have to catch the legendaries, which is oh, absolutely amazing, which I love. Complete the trials of the three lakes. So look at this. We get a quest to actually complete the trials of the three lakes. The three lakes are Lake Aquity. Uh, I forget the other ones. But there's three. the three lakes where Mesprit and all them go to. Let me go to my mission real quick. And see which one she gave us. Is it just that one? Yeah, it is just that one. So we have to go obtain the red chain and complete the, thr the trial at the three lakes. So by doing that, we just have to leave and start heading towards those three lakes. Which is not bad. There's one located, located in the Crimson Mirelands. There's one located in the... Uh, what is it? Obsidian Fieldlands, and the last one is at the Alabaster Islands. We did see it in the last episode that we went there. But since we're not allowed back to Jubilee City, this is the spot that we're allowed to go through. We can gather items here, we can craft here, we can do all that good stuff. We can do all that wonderful stuff. I, might, I think I have to craft some Pokeballs before this. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. Love this game. Love this game. We have to visit three lakes. He's just telling us. And is that our only main mission we have? Is that Saluma? Choose. Oh, choose who we want to help you. Oh, we get to choose what clan we want to be in. So we, this is either Diamond Clan or Pearl Clan. Determines what legendary you will get. And I'm going to go with the Pearl Clan, baby. I took the Pearl Clan in my main series game. And I'm going to snatch this one here. I'm totally snatching the Pearl Clan here. I love Palky. I think Palky is so sick. I absolutely love Dialga, but I've always been a Palky kid ever since I was young. And the reason behind that is me and my brother were both into Pokemon, and I'm the younger brother. So he gets first choice at the game. He chose Diamond when we were younger, and so I got stuck with Pearl, and I absolutely fell in love with Palkia. So I'm going to stick with my roots here. I'm going to stick with my roots, and I'm going to rock out with Palkia in the Pearl Clan. Love it so much. Now we got the Trial of Lake Verido. So we have to actually head over there. We got the Trial of Lake Valor. We got the Trial of Lake Equity, and we're going to be take, tackling all those on next episode but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live as the next episode we're gonna be taking on the trial of the lakes and continuing on with the end of the main story thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody